guys, this is Derek from sleepopolis.com. Today we're going to take a look at and review a brand new mattress foundation. We're going to be looking at the Ghost Bed Foundation. If you've been following my blog at sleepopolis.com for a little while now, you may have already seen my full review of the Ghost Bed Mattress. This is actually the matching foundation that goes with that mattress. So, let's take a look. Uh, first things first, let's talk about the design and construction of this foundation. This foundation is built from 100% Canadian spruce. Running along the side panel, we have vertical pieces of structural lumber that add extra just structural integrity to the foundation. And then lastly, we have the fabric covering, which is a blend of rayon and uh, polyester. The polyester specifically, uh, just giving it a great uh, durability uh, and strength to that fabric to make sure that it protects both your bed frame uh, and your mattress as well. When we talk about you know, what a, separates a good foundation from a bad foundation, uh, it really comes down to two things that are very simple. A uh, good foundation should evenly and well support your mattress and the sleepers on top, and two, it should be very durable. You know, it's something that's you know, going to be with you for you know, potentially the life of your mattress, so you need to be very strong because it's going to take the same type of punishment and potential damage that your mattress could potentially take from sleeping on it night after night. Now, in terms of support, I'm very impressed with the design. Uh, when you look at a box frame, foundation, platform, bed, you, know, you ideally want to see these slats uh, between you know, anywhere from about three and four inches uh, at the most apart from each other. Uh, the slats on this are only about three and a half inches apart, so it's right there in the ideal wheelhouse. We have 14 slats uh, that run from end to end uh, in the king size option. In terms of durability, we really put this one uh, through the ringer uh, with a number of tests, drop tests, flop tests, sit tests, jump tests, standing tests, everything we could do um, to really just put this guy to the test and see if it can handle um, just different types of pressures. And when you look at a foundation, a lot of times you, know, you only see it you know, in the store, you may be live on a mattress. Um, that's, that's not how your foundation is going to break. It's going to break when you have you know, a child go leaping into the mattress or jumping on it uh, or you know, accidents or otherwise you have a lot of pressure that's put on that mattress foundation all at once and causes uh, a catastrophic um, a failure of the slats usually in that particular foundation. Now this uh, foundation is designed to hold up to 2,000 pounds. Now of course that's 2,000 pounds evenly distributed. That's a tremendous amount of weight that it could potentially hold. Now one of the most aggressive tests um, that I ran with this is my uh, walking test. And this is walking just straight across the slats. Now if we just take a step out here, this is going to be the, one of the weakest spots on the foundation. It's right in between the two structural boards that run from end to end, and it's also in the middle, so it's really putting the most pressure on this mattress. And now the boards are bowing, and you can probably hear it a little bit, uh, but they're, they're not breaking. I don't feel like there's any issue of where they can potentially snap. Even if I just you know, kind of bounce up and down here, and uh, even going as far as to stand on one leg and putting 140 pounds of pressure right down into this one board and it's handling it uh, like a pro. Uh, so really impressed uh, with this foundation, uh, just that it's able to handle the sheer amount of weight. Um, if it can handle you know, this amount of pressure and really what is the weakest part of the board, you know, it really gives me a lot of uh, confidence uh, that it's gonna do a good job in the long term. Now, let's go ahead and take a look next at what the actual structure of this foundation looks like. So, as you can see here running across side and also our center board, these are the structural lumber 2x4 pieces that provide that, that vertical support and structural integrity uh, for the foundation at large. Uh, of course, then we have our slats that run. We've got our, our three and a half inch gaps here as well. The slats themselves about you know, an inch or so thick. Um, you saw when I was walking, they have a little bit of flex to them, uh, but Canadian spruce is, is a very hard, strong, durable wood, so they do a great job of holding that weight and evenly supporting. Uh, I really like that the, the King Foundation uh, has just a single unit. 
Most of the time with King Foundation box springs, you're just going to end up with two twin XLs, not with this one. So with the ghost bed, it comes with this you know, centerpiece that goes directly into the slats. Now this foundation takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to put together depending on you know, how quickly you're going. Uh, you can assemble it with just hand tools. All you really need is a screwdriver. If you have a power drill, that's going to make it uh, even faster. I ended up assembling on a power drill just to keep things moving along. Uh, we have these uh, just kind of standard like two, three inch um, black wood screws uh, that go into all the, the major conjunction points. At all the corners, we have uh, doubled up screws, um, so really make sure that those are uh, very tight uh, and going to create great durability and they make your hair moving around and just kind of everyday damage that could potentially occur. If it's going to occur, you, know, you really want your structural points at the corners and of course the center as well to be very strong. So the big thing, uh, who is this foundation best for? Um, Price-wise, it's, it's ideally suited, I think. Uh, it's 160 to 250 for a foundation. So yes, it's going to be a little bit more than what you would pay in just you know, a typical retail store, uh, but also the quality level is significantly different with the Ghost Bed Foundation. Uh, this is one of the best box springs uh, that I have seen or tested to date. Uh, extremely durable, passed all my tests, uh, and great support as well. I, I tested this uh, for about two weeks. I'm actually still sleeping on it now. This does a great job uh, with a number of different mattresses, you know, foam, spring, uh, polymer as well. Uh, it does a great job of creating uh, just tremendous support uh, no matter what the sleeping conditions are. Uh, so if you're somebody that has been sleeping on an old one, you don't have a great box ring, or maybe you have no box ring at all, and you're looking to make an upgrade to something that you know, won't break the bank, but is tremendously uh, improved over what you're currently sleeping on, this is a great option. Uh, of course, it matches the ghost bed mattress, so if you end up picking up a ghost bed mattress, awesome to have a uh, matching foundation as well. Um, but with the gray, you know, it's going to do a pretty good job of matching just about any bedroom. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop me a note down below. I'm always available to help. And make sure to check out my blog over at sleepopolis.com. I've got the full contextual write-up of the Ghost Bed Foundation review uh, and a whole lot more over there. Thank you so much for watching, and happy sleeping!